a reminder for myself in a life that becoming more and more bombarded by dunya. That Allah's gift to us because if we don't remind ourselves what is the gift, we allow shaitan to play within our mind, within our whispering. That we live in a world in which we have expectations and we want something from everyone. And when we don't get what we want, we have a disappointment but many people now just go somewhere else, search for it with someone else and something else. But love for Allah is not like that. Means the gift that Allah gave to us is His Divinely love. This is the gift. When Allah loves the servant, He allows them to have this Divinely love. Without the Divinely love you're not interested in your Creator. You, you would be the 99% of the people whom looking in other directions. So before we have all of these desires of what we want, the awliya come back and remind us that those are pretty much garbage. And the gift that Allah gave to us was this Divinely love. And when Allah increased that gift he put into your heart to have the love of Sayyidina Muhammad and the love of all his Divinely Prophets and that was a gift from Allah And when Allah gives that gift, He gives the love of the Ulul Am, those who emulate and copy and represent the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad the way of these realities and the path of these realities and the gift was the love in the heart. That was the gift because everyone now they pray for things, they pray for what they want, they pray for openings, they pray for more money, they pray for bigger this, bigger that, more opportunity. But unfortunately they begin to associate the prayer as if that's the gift from Allah And if you don't get what you prayed for then you have a falling out with your Creator. And they seem to have wrapped the worshipness with requests. Oh he's not listening to me, oh it's not being answered, oh, 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 oh. But that wasn't the gift. Those were things that shaitan put into our hearts to ask and to want. But that's not what Allah put into the heart. He says, I gave you the greatest gift which was my Divinely love. Without that love you're not even watching the channel so it's not relevant to anyone who's outside of that. Anyone watching this channel has been given a grant of Divinely love. Whatever they think their religion and denomination doesn't mean anything. They have a yearning within their heart, a hunger within their heart that was the gift. Everything else shaitan comes to whisper to us, ask for this, ask for that, ask for that. And actually the words of shaitan will come back to the person and say, look he left you, he doesn't even listen to you, I would listen to you all the time, I would never leave you. This is how shaitan's operation runs. Fear of missing out, lost opportunities, wanting, wanting, wanting but that has nothing to do with the Divine, that has to do with shaitan. And shaitan keep whispering to the servant that, oh nobody's listening to you, leave that, leave that way. Oh the Prophet doesn't love you wasallam. leave that way. But none of that is true. And it wasn't a path based on asking for things, I want this, I want that, I want this, I want that. And when they don't get those 
They have an extreme disappointment, oh God must not love me, I'm not getting what I'm asking for. But this wasn't a religion and with, with the heavens they bowed down to you and to me, we were supposed to bow down to Allah and it's not what I'm asking for. But to be thankful, Ya Rabbi I love you for the sake of the love you've given to me and put into my heart. I could have been doing many different things, bad things but you put a love within my heart to love you. And deeper than that Ya Rabbi you put a love into my heart to love Sayyidina Muhammad and I do what I do out of that love. I want to eagerly do more so that to gain the attention of Prophet and show the entire universe how much I have that love. Our path is based on show your love. So it means that your expression of love is the gift. This is what we were hoping for, to have the love for one's shaykh it's such a deep love that no matter what happens in this world it's burned within your wujud, it's burned into the reality of the soul. It's not at the level of the tongue, it's at the level of the heart. When someone can't remember the shaykh, can't think about the shaykh, can't feel a send a love towards the shaykh. How are they thinking that they have love for Allah or for Sayyidina Muhammad When that which is in front of you, that which is accessible to you, you're not able to express that love. Maybe it's because they have expectations, oh I didn't get the job I wanted therefore I'm not uh, interested. Also oh, this is probably how you feel about Prophet too. You don't get what you want then you become distant and angered. You didn't get a response from Allah you become then distant and angered. Because we're putting the, the understanding of shaitan towards Rahman and they don't operate anything the same. The mere fact Allah has given me guidance then this is an immense gift.